Hey guys, George at Soundtracks here. This week we're going to talk about steam locomotives and the chuff cadences that we have built into the Tsunami 2. So let's get started. Now when it comes to the Tsunami 2, there are multiple different chuff cadences that we can get. Now, of course, as we all know, there is the conventional rod like this locomotive here that we're going to use as a demonstration. Now, on this particular one, this is a conventional rod where you have two cylinders, and that's one cylinder on each side of the locomotive. Now, when that cylinder is moving, steam is pushed on the front side and the back side to push the piston back and forth. So with two of those pistons, you're going to get four chuffs per revolution of the wheel. And so we can hear that when we start moving our locomotive. So we're going to move forward about speed step five. And you can kind of hear that four chuffs per revolution. Now with our dynamic exhaust, we'll put some pressure. You can really hear that four chuff per revolution. Now when it comes to the Tsunami 2, we have two alternate different chuff cadences. Now the first one we're going to talk about is the three cylinder. Now as steam locomotives got bigger they needed just a little bit more tractive effort and so what a lot of the early engineers would do when they were designing locomotives is they would actually put a third cylinder located right here in between the frame and the wheels up towards the front of the locomotive and that would give you that third chuff. Now with this it had to be offset so you get a little bit of a chuff, 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 chuff sound. Now with the Tsunami 2, we can reproduce this. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take CB112 and we're gonna set it to a value of 24. Now that is going to be eight for the power reverse plus 16, which enables the three cylinder chuff. So on my throttle, I'm going to set CB112 to a value of 24. Now, let's move this same locomotive forward at speed step five. Now you can kind of hear it a little bit, but let's go ahead and put some resistance here so you can hear that with the chuff. So you can kind of hear how that third chuff is in there. Now it really shines when we go faster, so we're gonna move forward here at speed step 10. And you can kind of hear how that's changed a little bit. Now when it comes to an articulated locomotive, there's actually two different types of an articulated locomotive. The first is what's called a compound locomotive. And what that does is in the rear set of cylinders is where the high pressure steam is injected to force the wheels around. Now that steam is reused and then cycled up to the front cylinders. And that's usually why you'll see those front cylinders much bigger is because it's a low pressure steam and it's injected in there and it also helps the tractive effort. Now once that's vented out, you still only get the four chuffs per revolution. Now in the case of a simple articulated, this is where both sets of cylinders will receive fresh high pressure steam and it maintains the most tractive effort. Now to do this in CB112, we're gonna take our default value of eight, which again is for our power reverse, and we're gonna add 128, and that's gonna tell the decoder that it's going to create an articulated chuff. So now I'm gonna take CB112, and we're gonna set that to a value of 136. Now when I start to move my locomotive at speed step five, you're gonna start hearing those eight chuffs per revolution of the wheel. So, you can kind of hear how that chuff is being accentuated and you hear the two chuffs for each set of rotations. So you're getting eight chuffs per revolution. But the one thing you're noticing is that it's constant. And so it's always creating the exact chuff, 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 chuff sound. Now this is where in Tsunami 2 and CB112, we introduced the concept of wheel slip. And in this case, wheel slip means the two sets of drivers running in and out of sync with each other so that that way you get a really cool sound effect as your locomotive is running down the track. Now, again, in a real locomotive, these sets of drivers are separately driven. And so if there's a difference or variation in say the tire size of the wheels or something else like that, that potentially could cause them to go in and out. Now with the Tsunami 2, we have four different wheel slip options, none, slow, medium, and fast. 
None is what we heard. Now, now we're going to set a medium slip rate so that you're going to hear the sets of the drivers go in and out of sync with each other at a medium speed. So in order to do this, we're going to take our value of 128 plus 8 for the articulated and the power reverse, and we're going to add 64 for a value of 200. So we're going to take CV112. We're going to set that to a value of 200. Now, we're, again, we're going to move at speed step 5. And let's listen to what it sounds like. Now you can kind of hear how that chuff pattern is changing so that that way you can hear the differences between the front and the rear cylinders as they cycle through at a medium rate. Now let's go a little faster. Let's go to speed step 10. So you can really hear how that sound effect is changing the chuff. Now when it comes to our steam decoder, this concept is applicable to any of the 10 exhaust chuffs that you have available in the Tsunami 2. So if you're modeling a Shea, for example, with three cylinders, you can actually enable the three cylinder chuff and the Shea, which is the geared locomotive exhaust chuff. Or if you're modeling a small light logging locomotive like a 2442, you can select one of the light exhaust chuffs, but then enable the articulated exhaust. Now this is just some of how we've calculated the 2.1 billion possible different sound combinations that you can get out of the Tsunami 2. Now for more information, please visit our website at soundtracks.com and be sure to check out the user's guide where you can find all of the cool things that you can do with our Tsunami 2 decoder.